Good morning, babe. Good morning. So this is what's going on right now. Does it look funny? I just gotta bring it down. Whoop! And then... Oh shit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like how? It's like, <laughs> we are now in downtown. Well, is this considered downtown? This um, is right. Yeah, because the mall's like right there. We are at the Metreon Plaza. What is this I called? Think so. That's what everyone calls it. Yeah, well, <laughs> here at the Metreon Plaza. So we're just having this meeting with a friend that works at this company. We're gonna talk about some future collapse, maybe. Uh, which way do we go? That way? way? Thought it was this way. Huh? Guess both, both ways way work. work. We said it at the same time. <laughs> we said it. <laughs> Can't leave the house without the Monglo. Monglo, where's she at? <laughs> Show your face. Madam, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. If any of you non locals ever come to San Francisco and you guys have a free day or a free afternoon to do something, come here to the Yerba Buena Park. This is what it's called Yerba Buena Gardens, I think. Yes. Super chill here. Everybody takes their lunch breaks here. And it's just a very nice place to have lunch because of the architecture, the vibes and everything. It's very cool motivational. Here. It's actually a clean park. <laughs> yeah, it's very clean too. Lunch at Samovar, of course. I'm sure you guys have seen this in the previous vlogs if you guys watch this show often enough. We haven't came here in a while. Oh, that's where F SF MoMA is. Oh yeah. The San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Supposedly pretty cool. Haven't checked it out yet though. Here, yeah, or should I just grab a table for us? She goes everywhere with me, so she's like used to people always petting her. Yeah. She loves it. Because she's beautiful. Thank she's you. So beautiful. So I got the screen protector a while ago thinking I really don't mind it and the quality doesn't really change much but nah y'all the quality really changes and I really don't like it so I think I'm gonna take it off. It is nice that it doesn't leave any fingerprints though. I feel like the quality change is really minimal but it still bothers me. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's hard to take off. I thought this was the cheap stuff. Ah. Gorgeous. It won't stick, huh? No, it lost its stickiness already. So much better. It's like so much more vibrant. Yeah. I'm thinking of taking mine off too. But I mean, look at how much it's protected my phone though. Like all those scratches on it. I always just stick my phone in my pocket and I usually have my keys in there or I just like throw my phone around. So I feel like it helps, but people say that the iPhone, it's non non-scratchable that's not right supposedly the glass is pretty tough and you know you don't necessarily need a screen protector but i don't know it looks pretty bad to me she's sharpening on the glasses to... oh you're kind of handsome who are you oh thank you who are you Ooh, look I'm, at them I'm, tattoos oh yeah you see me i'm like we're trying to touch your muscles but... <laughs> so i'm here with my longtime friend from high school no middle school middle school middle yeah. school bro and here we have ellie how y'all doing today? Man, I'm doing fantastic. The weather's beautiful. I'm with beautiful people. Beautiful people. One thing I hate about fancy restaurants, they don't give you paper napkins. Where am I supposed to put this? Oh, you know what? I got a sandwich. Rip off a piece of the bread. Nah, I want to rip off a piece of the bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love drone. Yeah, I was going to bring it, but... So good. We're about to head out to where are we going, babe? I didn't mention this earlier, but if you do come here, there's another perk that is Target is right over there. Wherever Target is, Wally is at. Where Wally is at, Wally are Wally. I don't know. What do we need at Target, though, babe? I need some tampons and pads. That is an emergency. <laughs> kind of. My girls will know. When she said emergency, I thought it was gonna be like candy or something. I'm like, mm, that is an emergency. Okay. You ready, money? I'm gonna get tam packs today because Lizzie loves tam packs and I haven't used tam packs in a few years. What's one gonna... brand that you would not recommend? The one from Whole Foods. Whole Foods? Mm. Oh, the cardboard one. Yes. That used to mm. feel like sandpaper. Yes, it did. <laughs> Share tea, of course. But I ain't sharing though. Can I get the green tea? Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Number 21. 25, almost there. Yeah, oh, 25, that's me. Yeah, and uh, passion fruit green tea. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. 
Uh, he said they're not sure which one is which. Then he said he's not sure if they made it right. Oh, and okay. if they didn't, he said uh, that one is. That one should be the grapefruit one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that tastes a little. Like medicine. Chilling at the park. Chilling at the park. Chilling at the park with a bubble tea. Are they here? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. So let me tell you a story of why I'm wearing these because you guys know I'm more of like an aviator fan. But I don't have my sunglasses and my eyelash decided to pop off today. The one day I decide to not bring my makeup bag because I'm like, oh, I won't need it. And then my eyelash pops off. I'm just gonna keep these on, you know. Nobody will know. Come on, girl. And we found a table. It's like a bed right here. I know. Look at this bench, you guys. It's perfect when you have boba. Let me see that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Tamales. <laughs> Tamales. <laughs> One time, many, many years ago, we were at a parking lot, and then this super random guy just comes up to us and he's like, Tamales. And we're like, oh shit, like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't see that coming, you know? So we're like, oh shit. We're like, what? And then he goes, Tamales. And we're like, no. And he goes, okay. And then he just <laughs> walks away. The fact that like he didn't say anything else other than, Tamales. It was just hilarious. Today is just one of those great days that you just want to spend at the park. No, it's not. Come on, bro, it is. This is why I love Dolores Park. Long time no see. For those of you who remember the oh, LA vlogs, you would know. What the hell? Who this guy is. Oh, what the hell? There's Angie, my cousin. If you guys remember, I used to live with this guy. Oh, oh. oh. you sat on Dookie. Was it Dookie? I haven't vlogged all day. I pulled my armpit. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you guys? Whenever I twist my body too fast or like my body just wasn't prepared for it, I get like this really, really bad cramp and it happens to me all the time from here all the way to the armpits. Oh, it hurt so bad earlier. Thought I would show you guys BB because you guys love when the pets are in the videos. Here is BB. BB say, oh, BB say hello. Good girl. Good girl. She always give kisses when I massage her little butt. You're so sweet. I love you. A lot of you actually ask us, how do you get your rabbit to be friendly? You just need to get your rabbit used to humans. For example, if you are constantly, you know, just keeping a distance with your rabbit just because it's aggressive or it's, you know, not very friendly with you, that will never improve your relationship with your rabbit. She used to be the same way. She used to nip at me. Every time I would stick my hand in her cage to feed her, she would run up and try to bite me. I think for like a year, every time I would feed her, I would just like feed her, walk away. So I found that after I started, you know, letting her out the cage, let her approach me, that changed our relationship dramatically. Like now, every time I come in the room because she stays in this room she would just run up to me because she's so excited to see me so you just have to let your rabbit feel comfortable and safe with you they're prey animals so whenever you know there's a human being they get afraid and you know some just react by being aggressive I've heard of so many people giving their rabbits away because of that reason I feel like once you get that bond down with your rabbit it's seriously the best thing so I really encourage any of you who have a rabbit to just be patient and understand where they are coming from because they're such a small animal and they're just afraid you know you just got to be patient give it time and i'm sure they'll get used to you one day this whole time i've been in here she's just been sitting here you love mommy don't you we love you too let me pet you good girl how do you guys like this straight hair i rarely wear my hair straight because my hair is just it's very thin and i feel like it just lays like flat against my head so i like to curl it just so it like puffs up a lot of volume you know so lazy i'm like i ain't trying to deal with it so i just left it straight these baby hairs they are driving me crazy i never cut this before so it's like is this new hair growth or something at least that means my hair is growing right it's seriously so light though this is this is a great length. I'm starting to really like this length. My goal right now is to have it past the boobage. Oh. She's like, where are you going? I'll be back. Come here, girl. <laughs> Ow. Why'd you nip me for? Hmm? We are visiting Waz grandma and we're deciding where we're gonna go for dinner. Are we yelping? There's this other Chinese restaurant that's like really popular. If you're a local, you probably know it's called San Tung. But they are gone for vacation, I think, because we went there a few days ago. They had a sign on their door saying that they're gone till I think the 28th or something. This is my shape. Every time I come over, I like to use this little foot massager. Can we all fit in this? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. 
What just happened? <laughs> so he was trying to act cool. Okay. So like, he was like this, and then like, boom. Can't wait for the food. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> I'm gonna start. Leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of friend you guys are. Are you guys the type of friend to eat and not wait for everyone's food? Or are you the type of friend to just wait for everyone? What are you? I don't know how they're eating dessert right now. Mm, I'm so full. I know you're full. Hell yeah. I mean, I mean, like, did you I, wash it? No, I didn't, I didn't like my food. It no, wasn't that good. Room. You know. It's like you washed the plate or something. Please subscribe right here. I'll put a button right here that you can click. I think today was a really successful day. Hanging out with the cousins and surprising our grandma. Because we don't all live close. Like, well, kind of close, but not too close. Not often does my grandma see all her grandkids all together at once, you I know? Think most grandmas don't because yeah. we're all working. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even for my grandma, we don't all we see her. Yeah. It was just really heartwarming seeing, you know, her happy. And I think mm -hmm. everyone else felt that too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely encourage you guys to hang out with your grandparents. Yeah. I know it's something that is overlooked. I'm not going to lie. I overlook it too. It wasn't until the past like two years where I actually remember to oh I should call my grandma today mm -hmm. just like things like that So yeah. even though you're really busy Just know that that's not an excuse to not hang out with your grandparents yeah. or your parents because that's all they want If you're far away, just give them a call 10 minutes out of one week. You could do that yeah. Come on. You could spend 10 minutes on Instagram or snapchat. You could you could call your grandma for mm -hmm. 10 minutes We're just gonna end the vlog here on a happy note mm -hmm. and hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog